Hey everybody, this is Don over at Johnny's Used Cars. Voted the best place to buy a car in Okinawa by the military community of Okinawa. Today I'm showing this 2010 Toyota Voxy that just came in. It's got 94,500 kilometers on it, which is approaching 59,000 miles. Before we get started, I'd like to let you know that we do have on the lot discounts. So the price you're seeing on our website right now will not be the final price when you come on the lot. Also, if you're arriving to Okinawa soon or you just arrived, Please make sure you stop by Johnny's Used Cars as soon as you can and have a look around. Even before you get yourself a driver's license, there are benefits of doing it that way. So with that, let's have a look around. I'll show the features inside. But first, I'd like to ask you to please watch the video until the end. I do go over a lot of information in my videos. going to answer a lot of your questions. Things like the JCI, the warranty, the road tax. I cover all that and more. So please bear with me till the end. You have all the answers. If not, please contact me or stop on by. This Toyota Vox is an eight passenger vehicle in the 500, I'm sorry, 300 series category. So the larger category. Road tax per year is gonna be 19,000 yen, which is about $140 right now with the current exchange rate. Road tax is due every April, May time frame. So we're gonna take care of the 2024 road tax for you. You won't have to worry about that until next April or May. Now I do have two ways to pay for this. First one being US dollars cash out rate, which could get you a larger discount. Or take advantage of zero percent financing for 24 months with zero down. Yes, we don't have a down payment requirement, but if you want to put something down, reduce your overall monthly payments, you can. A lot of our customers do like 500 to 1,000. Some do half, some do more. Up to you. Before we go inside, I was like showing the rain guards. Rain guards will allow you to roll your windows down a little bit this way. If it rains, it's not going to get wet inside. More important feature benefit is it's going to be that cross ventilation, get that extremely hot air out, and always get yourself a good windshield visor. See how this dash is pretty big. You want to keep that as cool as possible. Okay. So with that, let's jump on inside. And these are seat covers, by the way. You do have the uh, the dark gray and the the blue inserts. Okay, underneath. Like I said, it's just coming in, so it's going to be a little dirty. Uh, key fob on your person, foot on a brake. It is a push start, so push that one time, and it goes. Okay. Let's go. So let's, uh, turn this radio off. Sorry, Troy. Okay, sneak this in here. 94,619 on the odometer. Showed a couple of warning lights. Let's start off with that blue one. That blue one is your temperature gauge. So it's gonna be blue when the engine's cool and it's gonna remain on, that's normal. When it warms up, it's gonna go away, that's normal. And then it's gonna be red if it's overheating. That's not normal, be on the lookout for that. And then you got the, the, the orange one there, the, gas, uh, the gasoline one. Uh, obviously it just came in, we need to put some gasoline in here, okay? And then that uh, the one up top is your emergency brake. This one is a kick type. So when you kick it, disengage, it goes away. Kick it again, comes right back on. And that one blinking over there is, of course, your seatbelt one. Make sure you wear your seatbelts. They do give tickets on and off base. Although that is a very simple, straightforward instrument cluster. However, it's not straight ahead. It's off to the center. Anything pops up on a dash, especially if it's red, red is bad universally, please pull over, find out what it is, take the necessary action, okay? Um, off to the front here, in front of the uh, glove, in front of the steering wheel, you have a compartment for some storage. You have your radio. This one does have a rear camera. Then I'm just tightening this. Uh, you have your shifter, air conditioning controls, little uh, shelf here, power outlet, cup holder, and a little compartment for storage. Above the glove box, you guessed it, more storage, and then the glove box itself. Then more storage and cup holder on each door panel. That is your passenger space over there. You got your red road flare hanging out. Then this is the space I have on my side. The seat is all the way back, all the way. It wasn't all the way down. I knew something was wrong. The seat is all the way back and all the way down. I am 5'11", as everybody loves knowing. Uh, I could drive as is or slide this up an inch or two and still be comfortable driving. Okay. It does have uh, armrests here and also an aftermarket little console that's going to give you two cup holders and a little extra space down here. Let's see, this one open up, and a little uh, storage on the back. Uh, this one does have um, a mirror that comes down to see the rear passengers a little bit better. All right, let's go eye level. That's my eye level right there. Really can't see anything past the windshield wipers like on most vehicles, all right? Now normally I take this time to show you the auction sheet, showing you that this is a non-accident vehicle from mainland Japan. Please keep that in mind. Graded non-accident from the auctions up in mainland. All these other dealers out here can't tell you that on all their cars. We can for each one. But because it just came in, I keep those inside the office until it's been detailed. Once detailed, I'm going to put that 
up here on the driver's side so you can see that for yourself and we'll also help you decipher it if need be. And there's actually dealers out here that'll try to discredit the auction sheet. Stop by, we'll explain why. Okay, let's show you a couple other things before we go to the back seat, or the middle row I should say. Uh, off to the left here on the dash, you do have uh, dual power sliding doors. Okay, come over here. Then on the right side of the steering wheel, you do have an option of turning that off if you want to. So if somebody's playing with it, you can turn that off. Uh, you have a compartment here for some coins. And this guy hanging out right there, that's your ETC reader. That's your electronic toll collector. This works like easy pass in the States if you're able to get the card for it for the expressway. Okay? Then underneath, you'll see two uh, levers. The one on the right is your gas cover release. Okay? Please don't forget it's there. And then the one on the left is your hood release. And then it just has some aftermarket lights there. I don't know what they're for, but just a little uh, showy. And then, yeah, on the door panel, you have your mirror, door lock, and window controls all right here. All right, to turn it off, your foot doesn't have to be on the brake. You just push this one time and it turns off, okay? And it does have the paddle shifts that if you need extra speed or control the gears a little bit better, that's where you're going to do it. So all you're going to do is pull that out one time and it's going to go. All right, and let me just check one thing. Yep. All right. So with the seat all the way back, all the way down. Now there is a bar here that you can move this up. I don't think I'm going to, oh, I can make it. With it all the way up, I'll be about an inch into the, into the back uh, of the uh, front seat. So I'm going to leave it in the back position just to show you. Uh, I'm about two and a half, almost three inches away from the back seat to my knees. Nothing as far as storage on the back of the driver's seat, but you have pocket storage on the back of the passenger seat, as always. Be careful what you put in there. You don't want to rip it on each side. Uh, on the driver's side, you do have a um, grocery bag hook up to four kilograms, which is about uh, eight and a half pounds. And then you do have a um, little bit of storage and cup holder on each door panel, okay? Then let me see. Oh, that you'd actually take off, so. And then uh, it looks like it has an aftermarket uh, DVD player. So I don't have my test DVDs with me, so I'll have to check, uh, check that out later. And then you do have the controls here for your fan. You can put it on low or high or turn it off all completely. And then it does have the vents that go all the way back, all right? You do have this little um, center armrest. I shouldn't say really armrest because it comes down and gives you two cup holders. If you push this side down and lift this side up, I'm going to have to do it with my leg. You can have a little go-between here, okay? But I'll leave that as is, normal. And then to get to the back, all you're going to do is lift this up. This is going to fold down on top of each other and then uh, come up. All one shot, okay? So I'm going to have to start talking a little bit faster because now it's starting to rain again. I'm trying to do these videos in between the rain showers. So here's your rear space. You do have a little compartment here for extra storage in the back. And then that's your space back here, okay? And then uh, you have cup holders over here and cup holders on the right side as well. All right? And you can fold these seats out of the way. Uh, they're gonna go, there's a lever on each side. You can push those down and then there's a lever on the there. You lift that up and then it's gonna go up and you're gonna attach it to here. Pretty simple. Go to the front here, show you the engine compartment. We're going to wrap this video up. All right, there you have it. Two liter engine, which will be cleaned during the detailing process. All right. So there you have it, 2010 Toyota Voxy. This is the new body design. Uh, 94,500 kilometers on it, which is about 59,000 miles. Military prices on a 6,000. With an additional military discount, we'll get it down to 5,800. Again, while you're here, please ask the information guy about on a lot discounts, and you will get a lower price on this. For now, the 5800 will include a two year JCI, the one year bumper to bumper full warranty, the 2024 road tax, and a 10% sales tax is already included. Only thing on top will be your American insurance requirement, whether you go liability or full coverage, which is totally up to you, and we can assist you with that here. Touching on these warranties real quick, yes, there are two year warranties out here. However, they're not the best thing since sliced bread, so don't be fooled by them. Stop by, we'll explain why. But we do encourage you to shop around, go to the dealer, see what they have, check out the condition, mileage, and pricing of their vehicles, then stop by Johnny's Used Cars, let us show we have, what our program's all about, and how we can assist you. We are definitely making a difference out here because we are different. Heck, I'm doing videos in the rain for you. But, uh, <laughs> because, but we still are different. Um, but don't forget, two ways to pay for it, U.S. dollars cash out rate, or take advantage of zero percent finance for 24 months. Either way, we're good to go. Please like and subscribe, and as always, thank you very much for watching. Take care. Hope to see you soon.